Today on Running to Him. Asking God for wisdom and knowledge instead of monetary blessing can bring riches as well. Today we will read 2 Chronicles 1 through 5 and concentrate on 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verses 7 through 12. 2 Chronicles chapter 1, verses 7 through 12 read, In that night God appeared to Solomon and said to him, Ask what I shall give you. And Solomon said to God, You have dealt with my father David with great loving kindness, and have made me king in his place. Now, O Lord God, your promise to my father David is fulfilled, for you have made me king over a people as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me now wisdom and knowledge, that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can rule over this great people of yours? God said to Solomon, Because you had this in mind, and did not ask for riches, wealth, or honor, or the life of those who hate you, nor have you ever asked for a long life, but you have asked for yourself wisdom and knowledge, that you may rule my people over whom I have made you king. Wisdom and knowledge have been granted to you, and I will give you riches and wealth and honor such as none of the kings who were before you has possessed, nor those who will come after you. Well, John Chrysostom writes, You also, therefore, should ask nothing worldly, but all things spiritual, and you will surely receive. For so Solomon, because he asked for what he ought, behold, how quickly he received. Two things now, you see, should be in one who prays asking earnestly, and asking what he ought. Since you too, said he, through your parents, wait for your children to ask, and if they should ask you of anything inexpedient, you refuse the gifts, just as, if it be expedient, you consent and bestow it. You too, considering these things, not withdraw until you receive, until you have found. Do not retire. Do not relax your diligence until the door is opened. For if you approach this mind and say, except I receive, I will not depart, you will surely receive, provided you ask such things as both suitable for him of whom you ask to give and expedient for you, the petitioner. But what are these? To seek the things spiritual, all of them, to forgive those who have trespassed, and so to draw near by asking forgiveness to lift up holy hands without wrath of doubting. Thus, if we ask, we shall receive, as it is surely as asking is a mockery and the act of drunken rather than sober people. What then, said one, if I ask for even spiritual things and do not receive? You did not surely knock with earnestness, or you made yourself unworthy to receive, or did quickly stop asking. And wherefore, it may be inquired, did he not say, what things we ought to ask? No, he has mentioned them all in what precedes, and is all signified for what we ought to draw near. Do not say then, I drew near and did not receive, for in no case is it owing to God that we receive, not God who loves us very much, as to surpass even parents to surpass them as far as goodness does these evil nature. That is from homilies on the Gospel of Matthew. When we ask for worldly gifts, God may bless. But if we ask for wisdom and knowledge, God will always bless. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.